Hello, children. Very good evening to you all. How are you all doing? Great. Very nice. So, hope you are all ready to attend the class today. Okay. So, first things first, we have to start with the warm up, be it any exercise, like if we are going to a dance class or if we are going to any workout session or if we are going to uh, maybe school anywhere, the first thing what we have to do is to tune our body so that we can get into the class. Okay. It is very important for everybody to tune yourself physically and mentally. How can you do that? You have to start with a warm-up session. You have to start with a Warm up session. So let's begin this warm up now. What happens if you do warm up? Your brain will become alert and active, and you will be able to listen to the classes properly. And that is the reason everywhere, wherever we go, we have a warm up session before we get into the actual class. Okay, children. Now, come on, everybody, quickly stand up from your places. All of you stand up, stand up, stand up. I want everybody to stand up from your places now and start jumping. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump. Everybody should start jumping now. You have to activate yourselves now. Okay. What should you do? You have to activate yourselves. Okay. Start jumping. Jump. Very good. Now, children, can I have you all turn around? Turn around. Turn around. Hello. Turn. Hello, guys. Turn around. Turn around. Now, come on, everybody. Bend forward and touch your toes and bend backwards as much as possible, everybody. I will count to eight, okay? Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Now, can I have you all put your hands on your hips? Hands on your hips and rotate your hips round. Four times clockwise, four times anti-clockwise. Okay? Come on, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. So, children, now next, can I have you all put your hands on your shoulders? Can you all tap your shoulders? Tap your shoulders just like this. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Can I have you all rotate your elbows round just like this? One, two, three, four. Now in the other direction. Four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Very nice. Okay. Now can I have you all put your hands forward just like this and rotate your wrist round. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Amazing. Okay. Now, can I, I want you all to do jumping just like this. Jog, jog, jog. Fast. Stop. Very good. Now, children, can I have you all sit down in your places? Sit down in your places, all of you. Sit straight. And? Sit calm, close your eyes, okay? Can I have you all take a deep breath in and breathe out? In, out. In, out. Okay? Now close your eyes and sit calm for half a minute, children. You should have a pleasant smile on your face, okay? Very good. Now, can I have you all rub your palms together and pull down to your eyes? Once again, rub your palms together and pull down to your eyes. Now, slowly open your eyes and look into your palms. A very warm evening to you all, little ones. How are you all feeling today? Hi, Aryan Jeevan. How are you feeling today? Great. Good job. So, now it's time to start the session. Okay. Fine. So, let's begin the class with a beautiful rhyme. Which rhyme is that? Okay, fine. Let me tell you. That's the 
your favorite rhyme that's the butterfly rhyme which we always do it in the risha ma'am's class right come on children can i have you all put your left hand forward put your right hand forward lock your thumb fingers just turn it like this and make your butterflies fly can i have you all fly your butterflies just like this say ta da very nice come on now let's sing the song all together butterfly butterfly how do you fly butterfly butterfly how do you fly so quick so fast in the blue blue sky so quick so fast in the blue blue sky oh wow that's amazing you all you know what you all did so well good job keep it up come on now everybody clap your hands four times and give a high five okay start 1 2 3 4 high five one more time 1 2 3 4 high five amazing children that's so great can i have you all touch your nose quickly come on touch your nose touch your tummy touch your eyes touch your ears touch your knees touch your hair touch your watch do you have a watch mama all right fine okay children now let's get into the session in today's class i am going to teach you how to identify descending numbers ascending numbers concept in math okay children so before we start that let me show you some brain teasers okay so children look here i am going to show a sheet to you and i want you to answer it in just 7 seconds okay come on everybody look here how many fives can you spot your time starts now how many fives can you spot you have to answer to me in the comment box here how many fives can you spot time up how many fives can anybody tell me we have seven fives 10 9 okay let let just let me know how many fives have you spotted is it 10 is it 9 or is it 7 very good but we have 10 fives here very good children okay we have 10 fives now the next thing okay children so make your children alert you have to focus and i'm going to show you few more things like this okay and this time i'm going to give you very less time so children you have to be focusing on to the screen only okay your time starts now can you spot the f here f f f f f did you see the f and now one more time i'm going to show you just tell me in which row you have spotted f which line in which line did you see f come on children tell me in which line did you see a letter f oh by now you must be telling me in which line did you see letter f have you spotted the letter f in the first line no the letter f is yes very good it's in the fifth line the letter f is in the fifth line 1 2 3 4 5 5 the line here you see the letter f it's hiding here all right children so these type of activities will activate your child's brain for those kids who are not very interested in doing maths you have to put across so many activities like this for them to be active and sharp then after that they will feel ki math is really very exciting okay very good now children i'm going to show you one more thing you have to tell me what is missing here but i am not quite sure kids will know it but maybe your yes, parents can try this is not for kids what is missing here can anybody tell me what is missing here 
What's missing here? Six. Ah, oh, your face. Can you get a marker for me? Marker. Yes, yes. From inside, Want please. Want marker? Just call him. I'll tell you. Ask marker. It's not six, but. Yes, it's not six. And this is not for kids. As I already told to you, this is not for kids. Because mm, what is missing here is R. R. Uh -huh, achha, I have it here. I, I have it. That's okay. No problem. Thank you. What is missing here is R. Now can you tell me why? At least. What is missing here is R. Why? How is this correct? So this is for parents, as I told you, it's not for kids, but yes. So let me tell you, these are the numbers we see just like these, one, three, five, two, four, and R on the gear. These are the gears on the car. Okay. On the car gear rod we have these numbers like this one two third gear fourth gear fifth gear and then reverse gear have you ever noticed it all right fine very good see you if you remember we see this on the car just like this isn't it on the gear rod all right fine next I am going to show you one more thing, children. Maybe students, if you are in maybe second, third class, you may be able to find it out. Otherwise, yes, parents. Uh, quickly, can you tell me what is the missing letter here? What's the missing letter here? You just have to try it, try it a little bit trickily. What is the missing letter here? Very good. That's amazing. Shanti, madam. Very good. You got it right. It's letter. No, no, it's not letter A. It's letter E. It's letter E. It's letter E. Like, see, if you have seen here. No, it's not. Yes, it's E. Grapes. That is the last word of this. Last letter of this word grapes and this is mango oh and here it has to be apple that's why here it has to be letter e okay very good hope you are enjoying this let me show you one more thing now Uh oh. All right, fine. Can you find the letter D here? Quickly, can you find the letter D here? And if yes, and which line it is in? Children, come on, tell me. Can you find out the letter D? D. Letter D. Is it there? Yes or no? And if now, come on, tell me. Where did you see the letter D? Very good. It's in the third row here. Here is the letter D. Very nice. Okay, children. So, this is how you have to um, make maths exciting for kids. Okay, there are so many sheets like this for kids where they will really enjoy answering it to them. And they will be very, very happy to answer you all the questions. Have one more. Just give me a minute. Let me show you. Just a moment, children. All right, children. Now, children, can I have you all read numbers from 1 to 20? 1, 1 to 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, come on, read along, 13, 14, 
फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी ओके फाइन नाउ रब योर पाम्स चिल्ड्रन एंड बुट ऑन योर आईज एंड लुक हियर केयरफुली आई एम गोइंग टू शो इट टू यू ओनली फॉर फाइव सेकेंड एंड एंड यू हैव टू स्पॉट द मिस्टेक कैन यू चिल्ड्रन लुक हियर See if you can spot the mistake in seven seconds. I'm going to count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have you spotted the mistake, children? Where well, where is the mistake? I have shown you this. For seven seconds, and can you? Is there any mistake first? You can also say that if there is no mistake, you can say there is no mistake. Right. There is no mistake. Very good. So, is there any mistake here? Once again, I'm asking you, everybody, is there any mistake here? Yeah. No. If yeah. it is seven, seven is S E V E, and seven is also correct. No. so the mistake here is there in the spelling mistake itself have you seen it am i mistake it miss just a minute just a minute so here we have the spelling mistake is mistaken here okay all this is correct the mistake here in the spelling mistake itself okay it is there in the spelling mistake only yes it's misked it's written there all right now fine now that you are very very alert to answer everything let me show you one more thing and i'm going to show this to you only for 7 seconds again and i want you to answer so children now come on quickly look here focus and tell me what is the mistake here count down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 did you notice the mistake now Well, you want me to show it again? What is the mistake there? Very good. That's amazing. The spelling eight is written wrong. Okay, very nice, children. Very good. Good job. The spelling eight is wrong there. Have you seen e i g h t? It's not t h. Oh, there is a mistake. Seeing the eight spelling. Okay, so things like this you have to. put across your kids so that they will be very excited and you have to start timer 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 done okay this is how you can create interest for kids who are not interested in learning maths okay fine if you have liked this please do let me know in the comments below so that i will come up with more activities like this where kids will really enjoy answering these kind of things okay now the next thing is this is purely for kids who are in nursery and children come on i will quickly keep asking you spot a letter okay and nursery kids should spot that letter and senior kg students must also tell a word which starts with that letter okay mustafa hi baby Hope you are doing good, Dhruva. Also, hi Dhruva. Okay, children. So here the game is: you have to show me the letter, and you also should tell one word that begins with that letter. Okay. And at home, if you are making your kids play this game, and if they are of like class, Zaid, hello Zaid, how are you? And if you have kids of around like say, uh. uh eight years 10 years and 12 years you have to ask them to say as many words as possible with that particular letter the one who says more number of letters will be the winner for example can you spot letter h children come on show me can you spot letter h now 
Show me where is letter H. Point out to the letter H. This is H. Very good. Now, if you have two kids at home, encourage the child. Now, come on. You both should start saying few words which starts with that letter H. H for house, horse, hanger, and still more. Hut, hat. So, the one who gives more number of words will be the winner. Okay, dear children, so you can play this game. Hen, hunter, hundred, hybrid, hibiscus, hyena. Still more. Come on, you should not take gap. If you are taking a gap, then it means you are out. You have to pause. You shouldn't take a pause at all. Okay. Henna. See, if you are taking a pause, then it's gone. All right. So, parents also play at home along with kids. Like, for example, mommy, like me, can have this in your hand and you can have your kids sit in front of you like daddy and uh, maybe a child. And then you can start playing. Okay. That's so much fun. Because as uh, parents, even we will have a chance to get connected with kids and also we'll also be trying to recollect uh, words quickly. Okay. That's more fun. And you shouldn't take a pause. Now, uh, how you, if there are two, how they have to say is, okay, for example, can you show me the letter R? Show me the letter R. Children, point out to letter R. Here it is. Now, what you will do, you have the dad and the child sitting in front of you. First, give the chance to daddy to answer without any pause. Then, the dad will say a few uh, words starting with R as and when he is taking a pause. Then you have to let the parents stay and then now it's the child turn. They can also repeat the same words which is said by his or her dad. Okay, but then they have to keep saying the words, new words as many as possible without any pause. R, rabbit, rose, red. There shouldn't be even a second pause like me, okay? Rat, run, risk, rusk. What more? See. Even I am not able to recollect. Ring. Very good. Rhino. Raspberry. Rose. Rat. Over. Rabbit. See. Okay. Rain. Very good. And is there anything else? Let's try. Rainbow. <laughs> Road. Very good. Ram. Very nice. Okay. So this is how rope. Very good. You have to recollect as many words as possible. Rest. Rail. Very nice. Run. Rocket. See, how could we forget rocket? Yeah. Okay. Runway. Nice. Okay, children. So you have to try and recollect as many words as possible. Next. Can you show me the letter? Now let's move on fast. Okay. Now that you understood how to play the game. Rock, radish, very nice. Dear parents, yes. So nice. Remote, radio, yes, radio. Ring, see, ring. Can you show me the letter N, children? Spot the letter N. Can you spot the letter N? Here it is. Come on, quickly. Nail, nest, new, neon. Now, net, nose, neck, very good. Hip, so nice. Nose, neck is over and, uh oh, we are so bad at vocabulary. Huh? Needle. 90, night, number, neighbor, <laughs> very good. Okay, isn't it fun to recollect the words after a very long time, yes? All right, now come on, quickly, nut, good. Nothing is there around me which starts with letter N. All right, fine. 
So children, can you spot the letter? Once we have started, let me circle it, okay? N is over. H is over. R is over. Can you spot the letter K? K. K. Where is letter K? Mm, tell me, tell me, tell me. Where is letter K? Oh, yeah, I got that. Letter K. Now, come on quickly, children. Come on. Give me as many words as possible for letter K. Kangaroo. Kite. Kiwi. King. Knife. Kettle. Key. Over. We shouldn't take a pause, okay? That's the game for adults if you are playing with your anybody. Hmm. Children, can you spot the letter M? Letter M. Where is letter M? M, 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 M. Here. Here is letter M. Come on now, quickly. Words starting with letter M. Monkey, money, mouse, Mickey, mango, moon, May, March, Matt. I'm the, I'm the Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, yes. And M. K for kite. K. K is over. Wait. And the body. What is he? Okay. This are, look. This is a B, 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 B. Yes, wait. You shouldn't disturb like that. Okay. Fine. Mug. Very good. Monkey. Mirror is a very nice uh, idea. Mop. Very nice. Okay. Mustache. Next. Can you tell me, spot the letter S? Children, come on, spot letter S. Here it is. S. S for sun, salt, sand, switch. Sand castle. Sand. Snail. Smooth. South. Soap. Sofa. Snacks, slide, sandwich, soap, sunscreen, very, you know, so nice. With, yes, we have so many. Swing, sound, summer, Sunday, surf, ship, swim, suit, swim, swim suit. Okay, right, fine. Next, let's move on to the next one. Can you spot the letter A? Children, come on, show me the letter A. Here it is. Apple, apricot, apron, ambulance, ant, alligator, aeroplane, aircraft, amusement park. Aster, angel, arrow, ankle, <laughs> all right, fine, next, can, children, can you spot letter B, B, letter B, we will try and say only words, okay, not verbs, okay, of course, I know I started it, but then we should not say words, it has to be only like objects, things only, not everything. B, letter B, B is here. Now, can you, letter B, okay. B, bat, ball, basket, basketball, banana. Only words, only objects and things, nothing else. Bat, bell. 
bucket bundle no bundle no it's not a word branch box butterfly very good book bag bunny bus biscuit very nice very nice bear all right very good children button yes button is a very nice thought though bread now children can you spot the letter g g it's here can you recollect a few words with letter g gum girl giraffe goat glue okay fine very good can you spot the letter j j spot the letter j very nice answers j is here now children come on tell me j for jack fruit jug jar jam and uh, jackal and iguana jump suit jungle jellyfish yes joker juice very nice can you children now can you spot the letter f f where is letter f here it is very good now can you tell me some words beginning with letter f fork food fish fan father flower fox very nice frog foot very good dear children now can you let, let tell me few words starting where is p show me the letter p here children come on spot the letter p p p p here come on let's circle letter p p for parrot penguin pig peacock pink purple punjab punjab panda pencil all right very good now children let's spot the letter d show me where is letter d very good d for duck donkey dog d doll drum a very nice answer dust <laughs> dear dust drum stick dice dolphin dog dragon so now imagine how many words you can teach your kids yes so that's the magic of vocabulary all right very good can you spot the letter e children show me where is letter e elephant elf egg Hi, San Raj. Hi, Ratna Deep. Okay. So, hope you have really enjoyed these games with me today. Now, let's move on to the concept of ascending and descending order. Okay, children. Now, I want everybody to come on, stand up once, start jumping, jump, 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 sit down. Rub your palms together. Put on your eyes. Once again, rub your palms together. Put on your eyes. Now slowly open your eyes and look at your palms. All right. Now, look here. I'm going to explain you. <laughs> Hi, Sanraj.
I'm going to explain to you about the ascending and descending order. Okay. Let's just give me a minute. Oh gosh, shit. I... Look here, children. I'm going to explain to you ascending and descending order here. Now, so first, let's write the numbers from 0 to 1 to 10. 1. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then ten. So here I have numbers from one to ten. Now, what is ascending order? And descending order. Okay, first today let me talk about numbers are always in ascending order. Ascending means what? Increasing. Ascending means increasing. Numbers are always in ascending. How do you write A like this first? And then like A ascending. See, ascending order. It's an increasing order. Ascending. A a will go first up and then come down. So, numbers are always in ascending order. Remember it like that, okay? Now, descending means what? Decreasing. Descending means decreasing, okay? Usually, numbers are always in ascending order. And we can also have numbers in descending, which means decreasing order. Okay, children? Now, Deshwan, Prajwal, Nivedita. Hi, children. Hi, Deshwan. Hi, Deshwan, Prajwal. Hi, Nivedita. Hope you are doing great. Now, let me show you first how to teach descending order to kids. Descending order is nothing but decreasing, 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 descending, decreasing. Okay? Descending, decreasing. Now, just wait and focus. Now, here the numbers are in the increasing order. Which one is more? One or is more or two is more? Two is more. So, three, three is even more bigger than two. Four is even more bigger than three. These numbers are in the ascending order. If it is descending means what? It is decreasing. So, you have to write in the reverse order the numbers. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here, the numbers are in the Descending order. Descending is nothing but the decreasing order. Descending is nothing but the decreasing. Decreasing. Decreasing means what? Like this. You are standing here on the number 9. And then you have to come one step down. 8. Again one step down. 7. One step down. 6. One step down. 5. One step down. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Red, decreasing order. So, this is called descending order. Now, let me explain to you how to identify the descending order. Let me give you some examples here. So, this is a series of numbers given. The question given for you will be identify the descending. Write down the descending order for the given numbers. So, how will you write? Descending means decreasing. You already it yes descending means decreasing you already know it now how will you have to write you have to write the big number first for descending order you have to write the big number but how will you understand as a kid which one is the big number or which one is the small number in these given numbers how will you understand so how you have to write you, you have to start counting numbers okay let's all count together okay then i will say how can you identify which is the biggest number Start counting. Biggest number. One. Not there. Two. Yes, it is there. Is there any number above two? Let's see. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, seven is the biggest. Is there any number above seven here? Eight, nine, 
not there. You have to check only till 9, okay? So, 7 is the biggest number as per what you have read. So, first write 7. Next, again start counting. The 7 is over, you just underline it. Let's see among these three numbers, which one is the biggest number. I don't know which is the biggest number and even you don't know. Imagine children. You have to read out and understand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which is the last number you read out? That is the biggest number. Just write down 5. Once again, this is also our underline. This is underline is for yourself. Next. These two numbers are remaining. I don't know which is the big number. You also don't know which is the big number. Now you have to keep reading. And which number you find the last is the big number. 2, 1, 2, 2 is gone. 3, 4. 4 is the big number. Then 1, 2, 2. This is the descending order for the given series. So at first it would be difficult for a child to understand this. But... If you can give him exercises for about 10 worksheets, they will be able to understand what we are planning to explain to them. So for kids to teach descending order, first at first we have to take only numbers ranging from 1 to 9 only. Single digit numbers, descending order we have to teach first. Like this in the single digit we have to give around 10 to 15 worksheets. Okay, after that is over then only we have to move to the two digit descending order the two digitals i'll explain to you let's do one more one digit exercise okay eight six two seven imagine this these are the numbers given okay these are the numbers given now arrange the following in descending order how will you know I don't know which is the big number. You also don't know which is the big number. So only remember when you count, start counting numbers. The last number, whichever is there here, you have to write here first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After 8, we don't have any number. So 8 is the last number which I am, which, which I read out, right? So you have to write 8. This is over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 is the last number which I spoke out. So 7. Next. This is also over. Now we, you have only 2 numbers. 2 and 6. Let's read again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is the last number which I spoke out. So write down 6. 6 is also over. Then only 2 is remaining. So you just have to write 2. This is the descending order. Okay, children. So, if you can explain kids like this for at least 10 times. Okay, for at least 10 times. Then, your kid will be able to understand the concept of descending order. First, this week, please give this as practice. One sentence I already explained. But then, I will explain it to you in the next class. Okay, you just come down to the class again. I will explain the one sentence is nothing but place value. Place value also, I can easily make sure... I'll, I'll easily put in your child's brain, okay? Now, next, children, this is this is for you. If you have two digits, then how you have to go with it? We have 19, 15, 12, and 23. Imagine. So, these are all the two-digit numbers, isn't it? 19, 15, 12, and 23 are the two-digit numbers. Now, how will I know which is a big number? Because as a teacher, I taught you only... As a teacher, I taught you only from 1 to 9, right? Two digits. Maybe if it is three digits, then what will I do? Correct. So here, I give you a tip to make your kids understand this one. You just have to, here you have to know the place value. You have to know the place value. Tens place and ones place. Tens place, ones place. Tens place, ones place. The two digits has tens place and ones place. Okay. So, you just have to check with the tens place first. You have to check with the tens place first. Okay. In the tens place, I have number 1, 1, 1. But here in the tens place, I have number 2. So, you already know that 2 is bigger than 1. So, this is the big number. Just have to write it here. This is over. Now, among these three numbers, then how can I know, madam? Because you only taught me 0 to 9. Then... First digit, when digit is same, then leave that number 
and then go to the second number 952 again same as before 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 19 is the next biggest number just have to write 19 here this is also over then i have numbers 12 and 15 i really don't know which number is big then how can i memorize we can understand that 15 is big number 12 is small but then kids don't understand then how do we explain to them just see the tens place first here it is one here it is one both same then move to the next digit here it is 5 here it is 2 so obviously from numbers 1 to 9 we must have taught them which is the big number which is the small number so it is known that 1 2 3 4 5 5 so 15 is the next biggest number then which is the number left out here last 12 so 12 is the next number so this is the descending order this is without using your brain which number is big and all with this concept okay this is how you have to teach descending numbers to kids descending means decreasing descending decreasing 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 ascending increasing ascending increasing so while explaining to kids you also should give this um, what i have to say action ascending order ascending order means they will understand it's increasing she is always doing this means what ascending means increasing descending decreasing 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 descending ascending 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 okay this is how you have to explain so maybe for the first time it might be a bit confusing for a child but otherwise if you can uh, i have given math syllabus for ukg kids i have given math syllabus for ukg kids so you can just go on youtube and type risha ma'am ukg syllabus uh, you uh, so risha ma'am ukg syllabus you will find ukg syllabus risha ma'am nursery syllabus you will be able to see nursery syllabus risha ma'am lkg syllabus you will be able to see lkg syllabus for all subjects okay and if there are anybody who are interested in joining to our online classes you can whatsapp me i've given the details in the description box below to join we have a six months batch from october to march where we teach all the concepts to kids with respect to nursery junior kg and senior kg because when the child gets into the next session it will be very easy for them to because we'll make them understand every single day now how am i explaining to you in the same way will explain to the kids every single day in the class so there will be lots of practice given for each and every concept here in the class okay so anybody interested can whatsapp me october to march we have 6 months online free school class is happening every day we have a class there so whatsapp me on okay you can see here october to march 6 month online pre school classes you can whatsapp me on the given number so i'll give you the details this is one thing i would want to tell you and the other thing is we also have phonics classes phonics classes that is a 3 months course 3 months course okay 3 months course from october to december where we teach them sounds blends words sight words sentences and short stories so you can whatsapp me again for the given number i will give you the details okay so interested parents can enroll for anything all right fine now let's move on to the next topic okay see october Three months phonics course is also there. Yeah, fine, children. So I just thought of showing you something here. Let me show it to you. So here, so I got a worksheet for you, but unfortunately, I closed the page. Yes, I got that. Look here, children. So here, okay, fine. This is a little bit lengthy concept. I just have to go for an easier one.
so children come on look here can you circle the correct letter among all the given e's circle the correct e point out to the correct e children can you point out to the correct e this is this one is correct this one is correct and this one is correct okay and hi janvi how are you baby hi afik fayan hi alpha zaina how are you doing come on give a high five to ma'am hi zaina hi fayan hi janvi now children can you spot the correct letter b is this correct yes this is correct this is correct this is correct okay very good can you spot the correct letter p this is correct this is correct and this is correct okay so you have to give brain twisters like this for kids all right so that they will be very excited to solve things like this now you have to finish this exercise in just 30 seconds come on start have you finished it you have to show me the point out to the correct p correct q correct r correct s and correct t done good job you're doing it so great and one more thing you have at the last let me show you that give me a minute all right fine children fine let's we have all phonics concepts that i'll take in the next class now for you to make it bit interesting let's move on to the transport quickly i want everybody to name all the travel modes so children remember we have three types of travel modes we have three types of travel modes what are they they are land transport water transport and air transport examples of land transports are those vehicles which move on the land air transports are those vehicles which move on the in the air and water transport are those which go on the water so can you see here can you name these children bus train car bike cruise ship a very big ship where people will go from one place to another just for entertainment we call it cruise ship aeroplane aeroplane truck truck school bus school bus school bus what is this fire engine fire engine ambulance ambulance scooter scooter bicycle bicycle yoga yoga car suv car rickshaw i will reply to you ma'am because i have some thousand messages where i have to revert back okay so give me some time this friday i'll be free so i'll get back to you all however we are going to start the course from 1st of october so you have time okay from 1st of october everything will be in place taxi auto rickshaw 
tractor, hot air balloon, dump truck, dump truck, double decker bus, double decker bus. Helicopter, air vehicle, cable car, cable car, boat, rowboat. This is a rowboat. Yacht, yacht, yacht. Thank you so much, madam. Submarine, submarine, hovercraft, hovercraft. Hovercraft, rocket, rocket, spacecraft, spacecraft. All right, children. This is all about the transportation. Transport. We use transport to go from one place to another place. Okay, children. This is all about today's class. Hope you have really enjoyed. It's already one hour now. And again, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep watching my other videos also. There is so much of good information. And as I told you, this October 1st, we are having a grand launch of phonics classes for three months and then online preschool classes for six months. Okay. Uh, nursery, junior kg, senior kg. The child must have born uh, in 2020, January and before that. Anybody born before 2020 Jan till 2000 anything UKG nursery junior senior KG kids can enroll and if you are looking out for phonics classes for your first second grade kids also will do because UKG class 1 class 2 will put together for phonics class okay so you can just whatsapp me I'll give you the details maybe a little late but I will reply okay so see you again in the next class till then take care children bye have a nice day if you have anything to ask me you can just ping me on my whatsapp number i have already given you the number here and why preschool class i am asking you to join is because in preschool class it's not only about phonics we teach them evs we teach them spellings we teach them concepts we teach make them understand all the concepts and we teach them maths also maths is also very important you have to understand addition, line addition, line subtraction, number names, ascending, descending order, greater than, less than concept, after, before, between concepts. There's no so many concepts that you have to learn in maths too. Okay. So you just can think and get back to me. Uh, and bye to all children. Bye, Tanisha. Bye, baby Tanisha. I'll see you all, everybody. Bye, children. Take care. Have a nice evening. Bye, children. Bye, children.